What we're talking about today is I'm bringing you fletching jigs because I get a lot of questions about the Arizona Easy Fletch, the Bits, and the Baymaster Pro. And I'm going to tell you why a lot of times that we run these Arizona Easy Fletches. And it's honestly because it's easier and faster. I don't use them when I have a lot of precision work that needs to be done. 90% of my customers want a hard helical on their arrows, and the Arizona allows us to provide that faster. Now, if a customer tells us they want super precision, they won't want any tolerance differences, I'm either going to run a Veinmaster Pro or old style, old fashioned bits. And obviously, any four fletch that comes from us comes from a bits. The bits is cool because you can run a straight, you can offset, so we just make some adjustments to offset it. We can adjust this to go from a three fletch to a four fletch. Heck, you could run a six fletch if you wanted to. It's a simple rotating knob. They also make these that are, um, that are curved. And so what it does, it gives you a helical like I'm doing on this with the, with the Arizona Easy Fletch. So with the Arizona Easy Fletch right now, if I have to get a lot done, like even in my personal arrows, and I need to get it done fast, this is what I use. We've got about 40 in here. and we can knock some arrows out, we have no issues with them, and I can go from a right or a left helical pretty quickly with extreme like over three degrees. We have no issues with them, we've never thought that the quality was bad on them, and it allows you at home to, to knock out a really quick set of arrows. I can do several dozen within an hour. Um, with our bitses, a lot of people have them like on a Lazy Susan and you rotate it around, but it's much more one vein at a time, much more precise. The same thing with the with the Vein Master Pro. So it's really up to you. If you have an issue with using the plastic jigs, don't use them. I think boning makes a tower that lets you do three at a time. I've never had issues using these. Uh, I think it gives some high quality fletching. We had guys in here yesterday that Robin Hooded arrows right after we fletched them. And we were able to send them home. They bought jigs, went home, and they liked to actually fletch. And it was became something that was fun as opposed to spending hours at a time with like a metal top jig, a, a more precise jig. But this more precise jig, if you're getting very specific about your setup, like if we're going to go crazy on how we set up arrows for a customer and we're gonna be like, you know, $400 arrows, $300 arrows, we're running a bits and we're being very precise where all of our ticks marks are gonna be the exact same. That being said, I have customers that have $300 arrows and this is all they're, they're gonna run on them is an Arizona Easy Fletch. What I'm trying to tell you is just get what you like and roll with it. And if you're gonna go with the bits, buy 12 so it's more efficient and faster. If you're going with these, buy 12 so it's more, more efficient and faster. For the Veinmaster Pro, you probably can't buy 12. I think those are like 400 bucks a piece, but they're very precise. It's what Levi Morgan uses and they're awesome. Um, I mean, crazy precise. Whatever you wanna do, go with it and go all in. Don't just halfway do something. Like if you buy multiple of what you wanna do so you can, you're not wasting your time, you're being efficient with your aero builds.